In this video, we'll cover how to assemble your RISQ mobile POS case with the Magtech iDynamo 6 card reader, how to connect your card reader in the app settings, and some information about charging. The case is compatible with iPad mini generation 6, released September 2021. This is the current iPad mini as of the making of this video. Other iPad models will not fit the case. The parts you'll need for this are the iPad mini, the case which comes in two parts, the rubber handle, the iDynamo 6 card reader, the card reader cartridge that will attach to the case. The only tool you'll need is a medium sized screwdriver. The case is assembled in three steps, the iPad case, the card reader cartridge, the case handle. To start the case assembly, Look at the back of the iPad. The end opposite of the camera has a charging port. Hold the larger half of the case with the ResQ logo in your right hand. Carefully slide the iPad into the case with the charging port towards the ResQ logo. Turn the case over and slide the small half of the case onto the end of the iPad. When fully seated, you'll hear a snap. In the next step, we'll assemble the card reader cartridge. The cartridge consists of three parts, the card reader, the card reader carrier, and the sled. First, remove the four screws to open the card reader carrier. There is a control board with two leads coming off of it. The clear connector connects to the male USB-C connection on the bottom of the card reader. The black connector connects to the female USB-C port on the side. Reassemble the card reader carrier so that the card reader is seated within the window of the frame and tighten the screws. Remove the cover plate on the sled by orienting it with the connector near you. Grasp the sled with your thumbs and apply firm pressure to slide the plate away from you. Removing the plate reveals the gold connectors on the back of the sled. Orient the sled and carrier so that the spring-loaded connectors on the carrier will mate with the gold plate on the sled. There are two lips on the carrier that need to catch on the corresponding edges of the sled. Align the top and bottom of the two pieces. When the end of the sled is offset by about a millimeter, press the sled upward until it is even and you should hear a click. Make sure the connection is secure and that both the top and the bottom of the sled are connected. With some patience, you'll get it. Now we can slide the assembled card reader cartridge onto the case. Slide the completed assembly onto the back of the case and make sure it's fully seated. Never hold your mobile POS by the card reader. If you wish to detach the cartridge assembly, you must disassemble the case first and remove the iPad to release the catch on the sled. The handle has the following parts the rubber handle, two end caps, and the strap with a threaded connecting rod. The two end caps are identical with a lip that slots into the grooves on the back of the case and place the rubber handle on the back of the case, ensuring that the concave side of the rubber is facing towards the card reader. Insert the post of the end cap into the hole on the rubber handle. This may require you to flex the rubber handle somewhat so that it can catch on the lip. For the hand strap, insert the connecting rod. The strap features a Velcro adjustment for security and comfort. Tighten the screws to secure the strap to the handle. This completes the mobile POS hardware assembly. Connecting the card reader. Next, we'll set up the card reader in Rescue POS. Tap on the gear to enter settings. Tap Configure Card Readers. Choose the first option, Magtech iDynamo or KDynamo. And where it says Select Model, tap the button that says Unknown. Choose KDynamo iDynamo 6 from the pop up. The app needs to restart and will close automatically. Reopen the Rescue POS app. Tap the settings gear. 
you should now see that the card reader is connected. But we're not done yet. We need to run a test transaction and add a product to the order that you will purchase with your own card. You can issue a refund when the test is complete. At the checkout screen, you will not see a button that says credit card, but look above the keypad for the message EMV status. It might take a moment to come ready, but when the status says ready, insert your card into the chip reader face up with the chip facing toward you. The transaction should complete successfully. If you have any trouble with this step, please contact Rescue Support for assistance. Battery and charging information. The iPad, card reader, and case are all equipped with batteries. The combined charge of the mobile POS unit is expected to last about eight hours. This can vary based on use. Expected charging times are based on the output of the charger used. A 12 watt charger will provide a full charge in about three hours. A 30 watt charger, like the available docking station, will provide a full charge in about two hours. There are lights on the case which indicate the current level of charge. When the last two lights flash every three seconds, that means the mobile POS is in low power mode and should be charged immediately. We hope you have found this video helpful. In this video, we covered how to assemble the mobile POS case, how to connect the card reader to the POS app, and some battery and charging information. Thank you for watching.